Hey everyone, welcome back to Pokemon Year and I'm here with Lycos' Games here for episode 23. Uh, Hi. we've been grinding a lot. A you, lot. You've been grinding a lot. I have no shit. Um. Uh, you'll see that our, uh, Fulrog has evolved into this he lazy sumbitch. And it is, yeah, he's ugly. He's ugly. It looks like if you turn Tommy Chong into a Pokemon. Tommy Chong, Cheech and Chong. Oh, okay. Hey, man. I, I've never watched Cheech and Chong. Oh, that needs to end. There's like eight <laughs> of the movies. Oh my god, no. Turlides is still the same Pokemon, but he's level 34. Avidan evolved into Splendor Fowl. Look at that mane. He is so pretty. She's so pretty. I'm sorry. I oh. misgendered. <laughs> um. Achilles now is level 42. Yalman is... Level 40. And Karam is level 33. And... Let's go and get that out of the way real quick. Yeah, we figured out how to evolve him. Um... It's the coconut milk. It's under medicine. Oh, okay. Thank you. Because I was... You feed him coconut milk. And there we go! We figured we might as well save one evolution for a video. There might be one more in the next couple episodes. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. Coke and car. Coke and car. I'm really starting to wish we had nicknamed some of these Pokemon. Alright, we got one more Pokemon to buy while we're in here. I went through, and you'll notice we have a lot of berries. Yes, we do. These berries, for anyone playing, they regen every day or two. Um, yeah, Flaker. So we have, like, <laughs> we have so many berries. And what we'll do is we'll restock on items on the way out of town. And I did catch a Chemical. Oh, I forgot. Sorry, I Sorry for that noise. I did find out a neat little bit of trivia. Oh, one second. Sorry for that. I touched our microphone and it freaked the hell out. Yay. Freaked out microphone. So we totally weren't, like, spending half an hour testing said microphone to see why it wouldn't work, right? Rare items. Oh, yeah, these are the stones. Expert belt. It's a well-worn belt that boosts the power of super effective moves. Might as well. I don't think we have a scope lens either. What's that? Boost the holder's critical hit ratio. I'm oh, good. It may cause the foe to flinch when the holder inflicts damage. Eh. We have one of those, but I think that's going to get used up when we evolve a Pokemon. All right. And what we're going to do now, we are actually going to go challenge the gym. Actually, what I'm going to do now is give, which one, Turlard or our newest friend that experience share? Yaoman. Yaoman's actually pretty close to leveling. Yeah, but I was going to bring those two up. Oh, okay. To, to um, close to go Turlard. <laughs> Yeah, there's a few that didn't get as much love as the others. Yeah, but that's okay. Well, I know that I, I figured that what we're going into is a fire type gym, so really, full, uh, well, sorry, blue, bl blue bell rog. Blue bell rog? No, there's a B in there. Blue bell rog. Like, blue reminds me, my brother worked for blue bell ice cream for a while, so that's what's making me laugh with it. Real. <clears throat> yeah, this guy here. Yes, we want to be straight. 
<laughs> ugly, ugly looking beach of a Pokemon. Alright. Uh, let's go to the left. Never been much of a dancer, but I'm good at Pokemon battles. Good for you, bro. See if all this training paid off. That maniac did. No, it's so cute. I'm glad we got one. I did find out an interesting bit of trivia is that I guess Flager, for the first couple of rounds of testing for this game, uh, was the original fire type starter. Oh, yeah. It's cute. It's cute enough to be. Man, that extreme speed didn't do shit. No. <laughs> it really didn't do shit. Well, I think with his. his well, that time it did. This thing, the Blue Barog's uh, special defense is psych. Yeah, special defense and special attack yeah. are outrageous. Yeah, but it's awesome. I especially love having Fossil Arena yeah. while we're battling. Oh, and we got Ice Beam, so that's cool too. Yeah. That was great. I think Ice Beam is uh, ineffective on fire types. Yeah, because fire melts ice. Yes, yeah, fire melts ice. Fire bed. Be great if one of my earphones would stop going out every like 20 seconds. Every time I, every time I turn my head, it cuts out. Just have your head and the little lights. Yeah, pretty much. Maybe slightly over level, but we're trying to get a lot done at once. So <clears throat> we wanna. I want to just kind of blaze through this fire gym. Uh -huh. Puns. Uh -huh. Puns. I don't get to use puns very often. Well, speaking of puns, so we went through and did cups for a lot of people for Christmas this year. Yeah. Because it's what uh, we've been into doing for with the business. These cups. Um. So one, one we had uh her family, her mom. We did one for her for from her grandma. Yeah, and her, I found out evidently for for Ember's entire family, puns are a thing. So on her cup, they uh, they raise cattle, and so it says, "Are you not amused?" <laughs> and it was just, it has a cute little picture of a cow on it, and it was, it was so cute. I loved it. My mom loved it. Yeah, that's probably. I think that's the next one. See if you match my steps. No, thank you. I'm not a dancer. I don't dance. God, this my necklace is just like very stark. <laughs> my necklace is over there. <laughs> Fuck your necklace. You don't need it. It wasn't a baby wrap torch. A flame wheel? Really? Okay. What? Using a flame wheel against a water Pokemon. Well, no one ever said the 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 uh, AIs are particularly intelligent. I love that it restores in between, like in between uh, Pokemon. It restores every turn. Yeah. HP, so it's not a lot, but it's it's three HP. So yeah. And we're gonna try to get through this a bit, and then we're gonna go. Um, we may go back and heal <coughs> just before the uh, yeah before the leader. I could be sludging all these people, but like one hit bubble beam is yeah. pretty good, and I don't want to ruin this. Slipped up. There's ice and stuff. Anyway. I don't know what that did. We move that one off. Move this one off. I'll go that way. Move that one on. Oh lord. Move it off again. Yeah. 
Okay. And then up. And that one on. Go back down. Go to your left. Up. Over. <laughs> Alright. See if you can count a red blazing moves. Have I mentioned I enjoy puns? Send me your best pun. I want to see puns. Oh god, am I gonna have to make a comment on uh, like the question of the day is what's your favorite puns? Yeah, oh, I'll write so it down. Cute. You guys would have already seen it on here. Oh, Kimiko? Yeah, it's so cute. Yeah. Writing down the question. What is your best pun? You don't believe. I don't know if that's gonna pick up or not. Yes, there we go. Good camera. All my notes for my overlays. I know we talk. I don't know if we talked about this before, but we actually make all of our own overlays and everything else. And we don't pay someone to do it. I don't mind those that do. Like, I don't either. We're getting all salty <laughs> over here. Like, no, it's I honestly I just have a lot of time on my hands and I I thought you know if we're gonna do this I might as well learn how to make it okay enough and I always loved when I w would watch let's plays and they would have like the face cam set up and it all organized and it not take away from what the game looks like and see I I've, I've only seen that on my twitch I have never seen that on YouTube so like you and I have a difference in the Yeah. I like it for Pokemon because you can have all the Pokemon down here, you can have the gym badges, and, you know, everything's all organized and you can instantly see where that person's at based on what's around them. And I, I like that for Pokemon. But like it's just weird. Yeah, it may also just be my O C D that Wanting it, wanting that uh, cleanliness. Yeah. We actually may not. Do we have an? Really, the only thing. See, because now that's the, the gym leader. Um, do we have an ether or anything just to re up that other PP on that one move? You know. Eh, no, we should be fine. Uh, I'm yeah. Oh, I was thinking about telling you to use the, uh, that Carbos on Bloobarog and up his speed. But I think it should be good. I'm gonna do it. Okay. okay. <laughs> you use your last Carbos. Cool. Elixir. Yeah. I'm just gonna do, like, a little potion. Oh, no, I'm not. Uh, so, uh, his, that, 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 uh, Hydro thing has been working wonders. Yeah. I forgot we had rare candy. Okay. Right. No, I want one step. There we go. Hello, Lycos. I can't thank you enough for bailing me out of, ant, of the ant hell. I really wish that there was a hyphen there. That could have been a, a bit of a very unpleasant situation for all of us. I regret that I could not be at my full strength then, but now I'm ready to accept your challenge. A battle is like a dance. The water dance. What the fuck is that? The water dance. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Needle. That's the same motion in like uh, season one of Game of Thrones. The water dance. That's oh, he's... oh. Oh, okay. God, you have a shitty memory. Anyway. Just as a dancer must be in time with the music, so must a trainer be synchronized with their Pokemon. It's not that I have a shitty memory, it's just that <coughs> we're, we're sitting down, and you just do like this little... A little plie of the hands. Yeah, and that's, that's... Anyway. You showed great strength in facing down, Sikamata. <laughs> now I, Tico, the master dancer... We'll test your metal. Cool. I love the sound, I like the, the the trainer battles or the gym battles. He 
is wearing a skirt, and it's not a kilt. That is not a kilt. That's definitely not a kilt. Alright, cool, bro. Just like some breeze on his balls, I guess. No, and I, I did, we are a little bit over level for the fact that we, in this recording session, we're going to be recording a few episodes, so, and we have no idea what's coming next. Alright. Yeah, we might be a little bit over Oh, I'm not sure with the, uh, we got that last Pokemon. I don't know. Every, they always hold out their like last Pokemon. Is usually their best one. Cool. Yeah. I, I... See, I don't like fire bug type. It's just it's weird. It's fire fart. <laughs> Yay. So I'd rather like... go back to puns than have fart jokes on this channel. <clears throat> Oh, well, we've already got Fire Pete as one move. Put J. It's so pretty. It's so majestic. Yeah, let's Ice Beam the Fire type. That's a good idea. So not over level, huh? That was also super effective. Yeah, because it's a water move. Uh oh. Against oh. a fire type. <laughs> Shimi Kanda. Oh my oh, god! Oh, is that what that is? That evolves into? It's so cute! Honey. Honey. We've got, definitely got some new stuff to think about. Oh. When we, when we, whenever we, uh, move out of here. We may have over leveled by a bit. He was over here complaining the other night. Oh, I hate leveling. This is such bullshit. I'm like, why are you at level 40? It's this gym and. Oh god. Let's see how you fare against the final dance move. In Flegata. Alright. Yeah, it's pizzas. Yeah. The bubble bee. Yeah, there it is. Okay then. Go ahead. A blazing battle. My eyes are still watering. Here you go, you earned it well. Salsa badge. The salsa. salsa. Can you salsa? At one time. Oh. Yeah. I was being sarcastic. No, I actually learned how to salsa. I was also much smaller at that time. My salsa badge will allow the use of surf outside of battle. Yay! Woo! Finally another HM. I'm and surprised also, somebody didn't give me a damn jet ski. It also makes your Pokemon more fabulous. Here, take this TM as well. Overheat. That'll be good for Achilles, maybe. Maybe. We'll see what it does. It's a really powerful fire move. It's an enormously powerful fire attack that leaves the user a little burned out. Ugh. Use it wisely. I like that it just opens up. Alright. Alright guys, so that's the episode. Um, thanks for coming out and joining us. We got the fire badge. Yeah, you know, we got a salsa badge. Oh, a a salsa, salsa badge. badge. Gotta make it fabulous. Speaking of salsa, I learned how to make the chipotle corn salsa today. Oh, yeah. We Maybe are... Cook that for me one day? At one, one of these days, I think, because I learned how to make that, I learned how to make the cilantro rice. And what about the pico de gallo? Uh, pico de... I, I've known how to bake pico de gallo. I'm Hispanic. Like, that's a normal thing in my family. Every time I go to make Mexican food, I'm just like, yeah, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. All Here's you need for enchiladas. pico de gallo is tomatoes, onions, cilantro, lime. Okay, we'll see. I'm... I'm white, as white as can be. And so I don't have... And jalapenos. And I don't have cilantro in my cabinet. I don't have limes. I don't usually have jalapenos. Because I'm white. That doesn't mean shit. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm like... You're like transparent. Irish people look at you like, damn. 
<laughs> There's people go, God damn, you need a tan. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> Are you sick? No, but like, so, uh, I know this is gonna take us a little bit over time, but we, lately we've gone through and watched a lot of, like, food porn. Okay, so if you go on my personal Twitter, I just tweeted today that my Instagram and my YouTube is just full of food porn. I don't know what's happening in my life right now. But we're going to talk about that some more next episode. So, uh... Stay tuned for food porn. See you guys next time. Bye.